Boy, we have seen a stretch of nice weather across the Front Range this week. Just now we need to kind of get ready for some snow. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> it's why we are under a red weather action day. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson has the timeline here. Mike? It's not going to be a major storm, but this time tomorrow it will be cold and snowing, and especially for folks that are planning to drive to the west up into the foothills, maybe do some mountain skiing this weekend, it'll be pretty slippery. But for this evening, no weather worries. 47 at 7 p.m., 38 by 9 p.m., 35 by 11 p.m. Today, the high temperature was really up there at 61. That's way above the average of 44, but nowhere near the record of 80, which was set back in 2017. The record low is 14 below, and our average low temperature is 19. This morning, it was just 31. It's still warm out there, 55 at our studios, 56 at the airport. Barometers falling ahead of the weather change, and the winds are out of the west-northwest at 15. There's the weather change. That cold front over central Wyoming right now, it's going to drop southward. Light snow developing to the north of the front by midnight, and as it slips down into Colorado, some flurries develop by morning. High clouds across the rest of the state, not all that cold tonight. 30 for Denver, Greeley, Fort Collins. We'll see readings in the low to mid 30s over the eastern plains. Single digits and teens in the mountains down to the southwest. Durango at 18, Cortez 22, 26 expected at Grand Junction. Morning temperatures not bad. There will not be any weather problems for the morning drive on Friday with readings at or above freezing. Just kind of windy and colder weather coming in some flurries to the west. That starts to change mid to late morning. This is lunchtime. The snow developing, especially west of I-25, and it really expands between noon and 6 o'clock. So from I-25 to the west, that's where the slick roads are going to be. Not much of a problem farther to the east. Here's the snowfall. Let me step out of the way, pick out your location. Pretty sharp cutoff when you get east of Denver and a pretty good amount of snow in the mountains and foothills to the west and two to four over the metro. Some of that will melt because the ground is rather warm courtesy of the recent mild temperatures. Readings midday about here for 38 degrees. They'll drop in the afternoon. We should be right around freezing by this time tomorrow evening. Still warmer down over the south near 50 because that colder air doesn't get in there very quick. And warm spot in the state, Cortez at 57, Durango at 52, Montrose at 50. So here's the map late tomorrow. This thing gets out of here fast. So by Saturday, it's cool and dry. Sunday is going to be milder again. And then Monday is a warm, dry day ahead of the next storm that arrives by late Tuesday into Wednesday and Thursday. Here's your seven day forecast. Snow and colder and action day tomorrow, 38, 18 Saturday morning, then 45 in the afternoon, 55 Sunday and 60 on Monday. Clouds increase Tuesday and then that next storm comes in. We'll keep an eye on this one. It could be a fairly good snowmaker by late Wednesday into Thursday. By the way, the predicted high temperature in Los Angeles for Super Bowl Sunday is in the upper mm. 80s. Yeah, it's toasty there. All right. Thank you, Mike.